goes down Scattered clouds Smell of spring Outside Open road You sit in clothes Let's go somewhere far away So we're back to wing on wing which is balancing the boat out quite a bit. We've only got about seven knots of wind. And we got the motor running too. So we're doing about five knots. Without the motor, we'd be doing about four knots. Um, but we just have the motor barely running, only about 1,100 RPMs. And uh, so the sail's left a bit just because we have no wind. But we've got our jive preventer set up over here. And this is working out real well. So this is our jive preventer. That's a soft shackle that we rigged up. And because our boom bang is a soft boom bang, we can use it as a jive preventer. So it works pretty good. And Captain Tracy gave me that idea. He gave me the heads up on this, strap it to the cleat with some type of shot, soft shackle. And then we just go ahead and pull that tight, pull that tight, and we've got a jive preventer. So it's been working out pretty good. It's beautiful out here. Sun's going to be setting soon. So the sails are luffing a lot. We really should have a whisper pole for this jib, but we don't. But it seems to be working. And uh, it's an interesting point of sail. We got the waves kind of riding behind us. So. It's beautiful out here. We're just going. We're just sailing along the Keys right now. We're uh, past Marathon, and we're coming into uh, probably Isla Mirada here soon. But wow, it's just beautiful out. This is turquoise blue water. Hopefully, it shows up on video. We're on our way out of Biscayne Bay, and we were over by Biscayne Key, or Key Biscayne, and it was beautiful. Miami is right there, that's the skyline of Miami. Pretty nice anchorage. Yeah. Beautiful. Coming up to the channel up here to head out into the Atlantic. And hopefully have a safe trip heading up to West Palm Beach.
leaving this anchorage. We're in West Palm Beach. It was nice here. It wasn't my favorite spot, but it wasn't bad. It was pretty nice. It was rough on the weekend. There was a crazy, crazy boat show or something of people everywhere, especially up closer to the bridge up here. It was just crazy. But it's beautiful out right now, and we're heading out. We're going to go up to, I don't know what it is, Fort Pierce, I guess. And um, but I thought I'd get a little bit of video of heading out of here. So this is part of the ICW. Uh, and we're just inside the channel coming in from the Atlantic. So we're going to come up here a little ways and then we'll head out through the channel and be in the Atlantic and hopefully within about, I don't know, 12 hours or so we'll be up to Fort Pierce. So we'll just have to see how it goes. But we're going to try to get up there before, before dark because we do not want to go in and try to anchor in the in the dark when we don't even know where we're going so uh, but anyway hey boy we're gonna sing puppy the sailing dog ready um puppy the sailing dog puppy the sailing dog Traveling through the ICW in North Carolina, heading up toward Virginia, and it's beautiful in here. Every once in a while, we get a motorboat come by. Some are more kind than others with their wakes. We just had a big one go by and they slowed down for us big time, which was very kind because some of these big ones come through and they hit you with a three foot, three foot, four foot wave and knock you all over the place. This is beautiful out here. So we're up just outside of Beaufort, North Carolina. ICW, we're heading toward Orient, and this is what we're cruising through. It's like a river through a forest. We're coming up to Oriental, North Carolina, and we're going to anchor up here most likely. There's a bunch of little sailboats doing their little sailboat races, and we don't know if they're sitting right in the anchorage or where they are, so we're going to have to come up here and try to figure it out. But it's very, very pretty in this area. Lots of big trees, and this must be a nice, nice place for cruisers. Easy store access, some trash and all that. Today is Wednesday. It's about 3:30 in the afternoon, and we just had a 
pretty heavy rain with some strong winds come through and we're at an anchorage in Oriental, North Carolina, and there was one other boat in the anchorage and it doesn't there doesn't seem to be anybody on it. And so at one point during the storm I came up because it had started raining and I wanted to put down the bimini glass. And Chris came out to take the covers off of the hatches so he could close those and saw that the boat that had been anchored in front of us a ways was right beside us. It had, the anchor had dragged, or drug. <laughs> so I turned the motor on right away and you know we were able to move away from it before our boat hit, thank goodness. And then we contacted the Coast Guard and they asked us you know, for the registration number on the boat. There doesn't appear to be a name at all that we could find, but um, we also took a photo of it to send to the Coast Guard. So we're just waiting to see, you know, if they're gonna send somebody out or what's gonna happen. And so after the storm passes, then we're going to see about getting our anchor up and we're hoping that his anchor didn't drag with ours or didn't attach to ours somehow when his boat dragged. So we'll see what happens. Never a dull moment. So we're making our way up to Chesapeake slowly. We're doing about four and a half knots maybe right now. We only got about eight or nine knots of wind. So it's peaceful. Nobody out here. It's a big old giant river we're on. Pungo River, something like that. Uh, up in North Carolina. We had a nice night at a peaceful anchorage last night. It was kind of out in the open, but it was peaceful and relatively calm. We had a little bit of wind, but it wasn't much. So we had a very quiet, peaceful night, which we needed because the night before was crazy. We almost had a boat hit us because it was dragging anchor, there was nobody on the boat. And so we came real close to getting hit by it. We just suddenly went up on, in the cockpit and looked over and realized the freaking boat's about to hit us. So we started the motor up and motored forward and just missed getting hit by it. Called the Coast Guard and told them what was happening and anyway it was all kind of crazy but uh, real nice right now man beautiful so we are cruising up the Pongo River up to the Alligator River at some point here and this is on the ICW yeah, we got to go through this weird canal up here, and it goes for about 20 miles up. We're going to go under a bridge, and then we're going to cruise for about 20 miles through this canal. And it should be kind of interesting. This is North Carolina going into Virginia. So we're cruising along in the Alligator River, North Carolina, heading up toward Virginia, trying to get to Chesapeake in the next few days. And we spent the last three days or so uh, coming up through this area and have anchored in some beautiful places. Nowhere really to to dinghy to or to go to shore to do anything. So we've stayed on the boat. Uh, it's pretty hot and humid, so we're all kind of, everything's wet. But it's been beautiful. We have storms all around us today. So there's storms all the way around us. And we'll be getting hit by some of it. But we've got about I don't know, 15 knots of wind or so, maybe more sometimes. We're just trying to sail at about four to five knots because it's comfortable. So we just have a little bit of a jib out. We got the main fully reefed. 
and we're just traveling short distances right now, 20 miles or so a day. And there literally is nothing out here. Supposedly up here, about 10 miles or so, 15 miles, there's a couple of marinas. But that's it. We have been outside of any kind of developed area. It's like going back in time. There's just nothing out here except for wilderness. Lots of pine trees, lots of woods. I'll tell you that ICW is tight. It's a challenge. So we just, just left Coin Jock, South or North Carolina. A little town. We spent the night, we spent a couple nights in the marina. Pretty interesting little place. Kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but some nice houses along the shore here. We're on the ICW. And there's just not much around out here except for some homes. Uh, that's about it. So we're heading up to a lock. And we've got to go through the lock probably tomorrow morning. But uh, as usual, it's beautiful out. The sun is up over here. So we're still cruising through the ICW. We're just about to Virginia. And we're cruising through all this marshland. to go on for a long way. Kind of tight in here. You have to stay firmly in the channel. So these are the woods we're going through in the ICW. These giant trees, look like pine trees mainly. But this is amazing. Giant piney woods right off our starboard side.